Hi guys. So today's video is going to be another funny one star reviews. For those of you who have never seen this before, it's where I take a popular book or series, find the people that don't really like the book or series, and I read their really funny one star reviews to you guys. You don't have to have read the books that I'm talking about because I always give you guys a little bit of a synopsis of the book and then I make sure that none of the negative reviews actually give away any spoilers. And this time around, the book that I have chosen is An Ember in the Ashes by Saba Tahir. This book is a dual perspective story and it follows two individuals, Laya and Elias. Laya is a girl who is a part of this group of people known as the scholars. They are oppressed in their society and her brother gets taken by the empire and she has to become a spy and a slave in order to try and rescue him. The other perspective, Elias, is a young man who is a part of this really intense school that trains the soldiers of the empire. He absolutely hates being a part of this school from the time he was very young. He has seen kids beaten, he's seen kids killed, he's seen really terrible things committed by the other individuals from this particular school, by the leaders of the school, and now that he's approaching his graduation, he wants no part of it. All that said, let's jump into the negative reviews. The first one says, Throne of Glass has been, forgive me, dethroned as my favorite horrible book of all time. An ember in the ashes has raised bad literature to an art form. This one says, Ha ha ha, so I just realized I have this at two stars when I hate this book with a burning passion. Oops, one star for you. Next, we have this world she created is devoid of light, nobility, or heroism. Not and heroism, or heroism. They go on to say, it has no reason, it has no joy, it has no hope. It has no good, simple little people, no hobbits, if you will, to stand up against its forces of monstrous evil. Only a boy and a girl, and a boy and a girl, and their raging hormones. And there is no Gandalf, no Aslan to support them, no cause that they fight for except themselves and their own desires. This one says, very disappointed in this, couldn't even finish it. If I had wanted an exposition on torture, I would have bought one. I was looking for fantasy, not sadism. This next one says, okay, I tried. I really tried, but after I've rolled my eyes yet again for only God knows how many times, and the progress bar on the Kindle is still only showing 50% complete, I had to admit defeat and throw this book into the DNF, do not finish pile. Seriously, life is too short to waste on something this subpar. This next one, I took a little snippet of the review because I found this particular snippet hilarious, and it's talking about the character Elias, the one that's been involved in the school that's watched kids get beaten to death and stuff. Well, this particular review says about him, Elias is so paper thin, it's unreal. He's the typical bratty rich kid that dreams of avoiding responsibilities and does everything to destroy his own wonderful life. They go on to say the plot. Was it well paced? Not at all, which is surprising seeing as this book's written in dual perspectives. We get a back and forth of Laya going through her half butt spy mission while Elias spins in circles bemoaning his life of luxury. And in case you're wondering, I didn't filter that. They really put half butt. Later in the review, it goes on to say the ending. Did it make sense? I don't know, because I didn't finish this book. I've seen reviews that say this book ends well, but I don't trust those reviews. It's clear my opinion's not so popular, so I'm wondering if that's because this book actually sucks and everyone's lying about how awesome it is, or I didn't try hard enough. Well, I tried two times to read it now, and that's more than enough. This next one says, this book's so poorly written that I can't pinpoint any overarching theme. There's mention of rape, whippings, and casual death, but that isn't a theme. A theme is a statement meant to communicate the overall goal of a text. I should know. I teach fifth grade English. This next one says, I found this book very gross and gruesome and not the kind of cruelty I enjoy reading about. This next one says, suffering slash obsession with swords, some gore and easy to picture as scenes in a anime type context. The title sold the book for me. I liked the name of the sequel, so I figured I would give this series a try. Unfortunately, on this false history slash fiction series, I was disappointed. This next one's great. It says, I was bored. I always prefer a book with substance and violence to a book with violence and substance. This next one says, I don't always love hyped books. No one does. But I don't think I have ever disliked one this much that has as much hype as this one. It didn't make me horribly angry. I think for most of An Ember in the Ashes, I was just apathetic, bored, didn't cared. Take your pick. This one says, listen. 
I had to skim and skip to actually sort of finish this book. I was bored to tears and honestly can't think of a single thing I liked. This next one, this is all they have written for their one star review. It says, very poor editing. I cannot get past the author writing that our main character was going to curry the wolf hide. Is she really going to add the seasoning curry? Anyway, you cure the hide of an animal. It puts me off when there is improper editing for a book. It makes it amateurish. This next one says, this book is way too slow and the writing is not very good at all, which is ironic because they actually used the wrong two. It goes on to say, I wouldn't recommend this book at all unless you want to die of boredom and waste hours of your life trying to get through a book it seems like you're never going to finish. This next one just says, I could not read more than a few chapters. Violent, too dramatic, too wordy, and boring. I really like these next two because rather than give reasons why the book isn't in their eyes very good. They just told you how far they got. This person says, did not finish at 50%. And the very next one says, couldn't finish several chapters. Not interesting. Neither of those two though are as great as this one. This one says, another Harry Potter ripoff. Potter stinks. This stinks worse. This one says, sorry, but no. Awful. Just awful. I couldn't finish. My mind was not happy with this story. And the last one says, overpriced. The Kindle version is $3 more expensive than the hardback version. The author should be disgusted. As I know, I certainly am. Looked like a brilliant story, but on moral grounds, I will not pay more for a digital version than a hardback one. Anyway, that's it for my funny one-star reviews for An Ember in the Ashes by Saba Tahir. If you wanna see an actual review for this book, I'll link mine in the description bar down below. But regardless, let me know which of these was your favorite. If you've read the book, were there any in particular that you found like so over the top and ridiculous? Were there any that you were like, that might be a little true. And if you want to see more funny one star reviews, I will have my playlist of them linked down below as well as over here. But anyway, thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I'll see you all later. Bye.